Minnesota. Oh, they are? Yeah, okay. we have we have stations in Minnesota, Gulfport, and Vegas. Vegas and Gulfport are just casino charters. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Anyways, anyway. Sprite Mare versus... Oh, Sprite Mare versus Spitz. So we got Young Link versus Lucario. Um, I'm curious how this will go. Spitz is probably one of the most fast proven players in Minnesota currently. And for a long time he said, I don't think I'm improving, but... I told him it's no, not, he's it's definitely not a, improving. It's, yeah, yeah, it's not a straight line, but he's been like doing a lot better recently, taking more names. This combo game's been getting better. Yeah, the, uh, the last tournament I attended, I played him, and it was my first time playing him in a long time, and I noticed a ton of improvement compared yeah. to the last time I played him. He, he doesn't mess up combos. He's like he's aware of his tricks, his turn to move. It's everything. Really impressive. He uh, killed himself though. That's unfortunate, really yeah. He was he was waiting to make sure that the the B reverse drift didn't make it so he, it's like it's hard to explain, but when you B reverse sometimes if you buffer up you right away your drift will get messed up and you might not have reached ledge, so he was waiting for the drift to finish. But he is gonna find that kill confirm off the boomer Still, yeah, the fair, keeping it up right away, really good. See on paper, I could see Lucario doing okay in this matchup because Young Link can struggle to kill if you don't hit your True. confirms. And then you have so much more like you land one round hit, Young Link dies super I early. I feel like Lucario being floaty and not having great hitboxes, like his moves are very awkward like we fits where it's not like you know he doesn't have like a cloud back here. His force palm is like his best move that hits like at a good height yeah. next to his like body when you're using aerials. Very hard to even time it because there's so much startup. So I'd imagine against projectiles, Lucario has a very hard time even like getting an opening, but there's definitely ways. It just takes a little bit more comfortability with Lucario. Good down air, getting stage back. I think Spitz was assuming we would send him out, so we didn't try to tech anyways. Yep. Yeah, now this is honestly a really good lead for Sprite after losing his first stock. The biggest thing I have noticed about Spitz is he lands a down to on shield, but he's he's not fought enough people that's, that grab him for it, even though it's minus six, so he can spot dodge it. Yeah, you um, can spot dodge it, or you can throw out another quick hitbox, or just retreat. Yep. Anyways, we got a huge lead coming up from Sprite Mare, but uh, this stock lead also means less aura, so we've got a pretty lu weak Lucario online right now, but he has enough percent where it's still some decent damage. Yeah, but if you're Spitz here, like, you know you want to get the stock at an early percent, because yeah. you're at 70 now, sem almost 80, and like if you don't get the stock soon, Lucario just kills you in one hit. I think I think he's been playing too aggressive. Ooh, not quite. He is going to take it. Missed tech on the platform, GI'd up from the down tilt, but yeah, I think I think a lot of the game just went down to Spitz was not not playing enough of a projectile heavy game because Lucario has a very hard time actually maneuvering around them being floaty and vulnerable in the air. Yeah, Sprite was doing a pretty good job maneuvering around too. Like he was getting in, he was landing, his his landing yeah. aerials, which is how Lucario gets a lot of his stuff. The stuff's way that, that he was playing, Spitz definitely was like trying to play the close up boxing game back with him and it just wasn't working out. Lucario, which is hitting a lot harder in those scenarios, a little bit more range. We got the Incineroar coming up from Spitz, though. Okay, this character kills early. You yeah, don't have to worry about is, Oro. This, this might be a good pick here. Good small battlefield kind of pick. Spitz is Incineroar off 16 on the map. Nice combo. Nair out of disadvantage is going to instantly ruin any damage Lucario wanted, but. And that nice. player is good so juggle. good at juggling. Yeah, and that's it. Oh, uh, not going to get, get the right hit. That might have killed Lucario. is not very heavy. Nah, 60 he would barely live, but. Like even this, if it's not direct. Okay, now, wow, Spitz. We are freestyling. Spitz is angry. He's he's letting him know. I feel like a, I feel like the Incineroar counter pick is like, yeah, you're bringing out the anger with this character. That should be uh, not quite. I wonder if there was a move that could have killed there. I think if he did a raw back air, that was true and would have killed. But he died in, so he might not have been able to get the sweet spot back air. That's true. Oh, that was a dangerous side B. Good tech, good tech coming out, barely. Yeah, good adaptation from last time, knowing that that might just send him in, so they'll hold tech anyway. We're going to see him right Oh my god, he's trying to do a fake. He's trying to fake him out, I think. In the player cam, you can see him do the move before he actually did the aura sphere. All right, good stock lead coming up from Spitz. Lucario at 0%. Yeah, not very oh. threatening at this percent. That's a grab up air. Nice. We've got combos coming up from Spitz. Waiting on the air dodge, but not quite going to punish it. Yeah, he had the right idea. I just think he didn't believe. It's data. He waited it out, so he knows the option. Spitz is kind of lame, dude. He doesn't go for the side B there. He just lets them out because it puts them off stage. Take the damage, dude. Yeah, Take Lucario's going to get a ba get back to stage anyway there. Yeah. It's not oh, like a character okay. like Cloud. We're going for that I option. I think Spitz it's forgot like how to anyway. walk, and he decided to move across the stage with side B. <laughs> Irish rip with the Irish whip was his dash. Up B armoring through the down air. Really good recovery. Wow. Bouncing. Okay, so the fun fact of Lucario's up B has very little lag, and when it bounces off the ground and he lands after the bounce, he has like no lag. Uh, that was pretty nice from Sprite coming out, getting yeah, that uh, hitbox of the charge on the horse here into the back air, and we are at even stocks.
Nice. Yeah, Lucario is very easy to two frame. His head goes above ledge like game one, I believe. Wow, down air should be gonna take a lot of damage. I like that Aura Sphere making Spitz drop shield. Hey, Lucario honestly has a really unique move set. He is the only character that has a move like that. So it's pretty cool. That countered it a lot of damage. And Spitz misplacing the air, so it's gonna get F smash at 70. Good F smash. That aura is nothing to mess with, and this is yeah. really good if you're Sprite. You have aura and you're a stock up. 19, okay. I thought I was gonna do like 30, yeah. to be honest. Not quite full aura yet. Yeah. Nice. We can not gonna take it, but it's still damage nonetheless. He's a hit from taking it. Dash tag. I'm wrong. Now he's a hit. There's no move that won't kill with Sinoro's kid unless he gets a jab. So no revenge is coming out on these projectiles. I feel like it's some of these. I think positions. I think it's a lot of it's nerves. He's he's not confident counter. He's still very like if I'm thinking I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna shield kind of player. That's true. It sort of requires a very different game plan and comfort because you have to to t teach yourself that your shield is counter in a lot of scenarios. Uh, one thing. Okay, good to get him attack. You can also just do drop down uppy there. Okay. Not quite gonna find the side of you, but we got some we got some. Close gameplay coming back out. Some signs of life from Spitz. Yeah, Spitz has brought himself back into this one. Honestly, it was looking pretty rough for a sec, but this is even at this point. Nice. Wow, is, now we got it. One. Spitz is very uncomfortable with jumps. He's got to learn how to go for jump callouts on. Uh, oh, a little greed coming out. I think we're going to see. Oh, okay. okay take nice. Upper did like 30. Another even game. Watch out. Or sphere, he's gonna side. He can side B. Yeah, be careful. Oh, he's, he's just being patient. I like I like the patience nice. there, but sometimes you just that gotta take it. But that's that's the even game. Or can come out. Perry, but he doesn't know how that bounce works. He gets the ground, he's gonna bounce up in the air, and he can actually mix up the drift on the bounce as far as I know too. Good recovery. Oh, that the up on his roll. That was really weird. Wow, Fortal's gonna take what? What? Oh no, that was hit one Fortal. That was hit one Fortal. That I'm, I'm not kidding. I seriously thought that hit two Fortal came out there and killed Incineroar or Lucario, but that's what I thought too. That's a diable hitbox, as far as I know, on the up B two. Honestly, I if I'm Sprite, I think I hit my forward tilt, so I don't bother diing. I think that's what happened. I don't think he bothered diing because he didn't think he got hit there. Yeah, because he no, he's just oh no, yeah, he could have died that. I, I think he could have he could have died to the corner more, but. Yeah, um, no, he could have lived that, but if I you guess, look at I guess for future reference, maybe rely on Aura Sphere to hit the dual chop instead. Yeah. I believe that move. Oh, it's cross chop. Is it dual chop or cross? I think it's cross chop. It's cross chop, yeah. Dual chop is a dragon type move. They should put hacks or some smash, by the way. Game three, we got a hot set here. We saw a little. Uh, the VLC logo, yeah. Okay. Down tilt forward air. Okay. <laughs> Spitz, you're so ugly for that. <laughs> but he's going to find his mark, and that's what's important. No, honestly, I love it. I am love that he committed to that. Uh, yeah. But definitely, that's definitely a tilter. I, I know Spitz is a very, like... He trolls a little bit. And, like, that's fine. If, you, if you're able to, like, get in your opponent's head a little bit, then why not? Yeah. It's bracket, so... Okay, good pressure. Ooh, F smash, scary. Back air, he's gonna find the back air, and that was barely out ranging in there. The, okay, I love that aura sphere there. He's gonna go for the first aura sphere, aura sphere catching the cross chop. Yeah, it's the second time we've seen Sprite go for that confirm, so good stuff it's, for him. It's kinda risky because he could get started up up beat through the armor on it again, but. Yeah, out. but he's not really in risk of dying there, so like you yeah. might as well go for it. Yeah. Oh, he wants a stock. He might not take it from cross stage, yeah. Wow, I like the Aura Sphere. That's obviously like a respect factor. He's he's conditioned to, to respect his double jump from disadvantage. Nice, right, Tactic's gonna take it though. We got an even stock coming up from Spitz. Yeah, Sprite's been recovering on stage a little bit too much. If I were him, like if you're watching this back, like just try to go to ledge more. And yeah. Just mix it up. I know it's scary to play the game at ledge, but you gotta play it sometimes. Yeah. Though it is, it's also a big thing to notice. A lot of time he's getting hit, Lucario's not in lag anymore, but Sprite is not picking an option. Nice combo. We got juggle and we've got a lead now. Never mind. But I also okay. that border didn't hit, but now he's got pretty good revenge stacked up. Okay, I like the the chill trap or sphere. Not quite gonna find the side B. One thing I know about Spitz is he only looks for side B when he. Gets, wow, that's not quite it. I'm surprised. He had so much aura from that move. Yeah, but 50 good damage. Wave. That's oh, he hesitated. He didn't believe in it. Two framing is actually very consistent on the car if you can just get the timing. Especially with Incineroar and Battle Tilt being one of the better two players yeah. in the game. Okay, well, trade. We got a, we got a, got a last stock. Anime fight. We got a little taunt coming up from Spitz. <laughs> He's, this is like a rivalry. This is the beginning of a rivalry for, for sure. Two Pokemon doing it out. 
Okay, we got we got a 25% out on the board. Crowd's getting a little hype for this one. A lot of spitters in the crowd. Okay, finding a raw back air. Oh, good landing mix up from Sprightmare. Okay, but he's gonna find his mark with the side B. The up B on the landing. That's good out of shield off. That's the he's, first he's time trying he's done to catch. that. Oh my god, the up smash. It wouldn't have taken it though. No, but it would have been a lot wow, of damage. The weight on the counter. Not quite gonna find anything out of it, but. Yeah, once again, going okay. just right under the platform on stage. You can definitely see the nerves. Four tilt's gonna. That's a huge four tilt. You can go for down tilt. Not quite gonna find the two fan, but. He's got the idea now. He knows what he wants. Yeah, Spitz is definitely going to just be hunting for one raw aerial or a side This is here. scary for both characters, and Incineroar might not even realize it, but he's hanging by the thread, but he's going to get his jump caught by the back air, and Spitz it. taking it. Wow. That was Great good stuff. stuff. Yeah, Sprite Man was definitely way too comfortable jumping in the corner there, and Spitz was having a hard time finding his answer to the jump, but at the end of that set, he got the, he got the hit he needed.